I don't see why this doesn't work. I think it looks alright. Yeah. Really? What is up? What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has been too long. Well, we don't have the car. It's too cold to go get the trailer. It's really too cold right now to do too much of anything. I haven't been uploading a lot. So, today we're going to make our own custom switch panel that's going to go in the duster. So, stay tuned. Excuse me, you know, I'm going to be doing this in my living room because I got the I got the fireplace running, you know, and I'm going to be watching some Wolf of Wall Street and uh, we're going to get this knocked out. So I was looking around and, you know, I don't want everything on the dash. It, when you're buckled up, it's, it's too hard to, to reach everything that's on the dash. Um, I got my trans brake button, my bump box, and my line lock all sorted out. Trans brake and bump button go on the steering wheel. Line locks on the shifter, which I don't even know if we're really going to wire that up because we're not going to need it. But um, I know I need a whole bunch of switches to control everything. So this is what we got. All right. So I bought these sheets of carbon fiber. I really didn't know that they'd be like a green weave. It looks kind of blue on camera, but it's green. And... I got two of these. I think these were like four dollars on Amazon. Um, we got a whole bunch of these push buttons. They're all red, light up, and then we have one engine start. So I think you get five of these for like I think twelve bucks, and this one is about fifteen bucks. But this is a uh, that light's really killing it. But it's you know it says engine start on it. So. That's what we're going to do. My plan, the plan is, so I have my shifter, right? Shifter is going to be right about here. I want it on the back side of the shifter, just off the shifter mount. We need to go grab the shifter mount so we can see how big we can make it. Um, so that way we're not making it too big. Um, and we'll talk about how we're going to mount it and what it's going to look like. So let's go. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and get our shifter pedestal. We're going to measure it out. Measure it out on the carbon fiber. Dog's barking at me. She wants to go outside, so I told her to wait just a second. And we got to figure out how many buttons we need. Yes, we need all of those buttons. It's crazy. So we kind of mark everything out uh, with the space constraints because I know this is still going to probably run into the seat. That's where we're going to do it. We drill it, um, come back in, put it all together, and, you know, that's that's what we have right then you can kind of see what i was going for off of that and if you notice some buttons are not aligned yeah so at this point i'm like talking to myself basically into you and like hey is this gonna work well i could probably make it work but i don't know if i if i want to so it doesn't look as good as i'd hoped it would and you know trying to figure out how i'm gonna mount it because i mean that's also a very big part so you know, all this goes into consideration whenever building something like this for me. All right, hold the phone. This is what we got. All that good stuff. So, I'm not happy with that. So, we're about to redo it, guys. Uh, I just got another sheet here. I think. All right, hear me out. So, if you set this guy down and you line this bad boy up, this is almost the same size. But, what's cool about it... I mean, you get the point. What's cool about it is... Down this side over here, look how much room we got. Now, what does that tell you? That tells you we got enough room for switches. So, I'm about to set this up and see if it's possible because I'm I'm not happy with this. This turned out like poop. Um, I don't know how I did that. Anyway, so let's uh, let's pop these out and figure that out. All right, so I think this is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, we had to lose one switch, which if I had to pick out of all of them, we're going to lose the uh, the backup light switch. I'm just going to wire that into the trans brake. So when I hit the trans brake, because i got to hit the trans brake to back up anyway, it's going to turn on the reverse lights. Now those are pod lights that shine down uh, behind the tire so I could be backed up into my tracks. So, starter, we're going to have ignition, water pump, 
Um, this is going to be fans for both the radiator and uh, uh, the trans cooler. And then we have headlights, bright lights, dome light, left turn, right turn. And I think that's going to work. Now, my biggest issue is all that's pretty close together. So this one's probably going to for sure be in the drill press. No, it's not. I forgot. Drill press, burn up. Or not, didn't burn up the dang fuse inside of it. I don't have any of those fuses. Hmm. Should I try it? I, I might try it. If, if I mess it up, it's a, it's a $12 piece of carbon. It's not that bad. What the? Lamika, she just came to see me. So, I'm going to sit here and ponder on this, and then I'm probably going to measure this up and go to town. Yep. Watch this failure. All right, so, took this piece, good practice, okay? This new piece looks way better. It's not perfect, but it's better. This is what we got now. So, you'll see, like, the, the spacing is not the best. I get that, and it's going to look funny because this has to be a little bit more offset because that's a three-quarter. Everything else is five-eighths. But right there, it kind of sits on top of each other. But... It looks way better. So imagine this is how you're going to say you're driving. It's going to be right there. So I'm going to be, you know, ignition on. And then turn on a whole bunch of stuff. And shifter sits up here. So I guess we can go ahead and go grab the shifter. Mount the shifter to that. And then that'll sandwich that in. Now I'm out of carbon. I'm going to get another piece and basically just come down here and come off the front and the back and kind of like encompass that so you can't really see it because I want the wire, you know, the wires to be hidden and then run down and uh, I guess under the carpet because street car, it is going to have carpet, uh, same carpet that came out of it. It's not the best carpet, but it's carpet. So, uh, I can live with that. I think that look. y'all might not think so, but I think that looks way better than this. So, all of these buttons are super tight fit, so I gotta take them back out because I gotta peel off all the uh, the plastic off of it, and I gotta bolt down. I didn't even check to see if the bolts are gonna fit. They're tight. Whoa, drop them. They're tight, but I'm way happier with it. I said bolts, but I, I meant nuts. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. You know. You know. Anyway, um, shifter, mount it. Let's go. All right, so here we got our shifter. This here is just your standard Hurst quarter stick, but pistol grip. So same thing, and it's got this. This is what I was talking about, my line lock. So I'm never really gonna use this, but I'm gonna have it, you know, just in case. Um, I'll probably hold that while I'm bumping in. You can't hold that because I'm holding the trans brake. I don't ever really see me using it, but it's there in case I need to use it. So, um, if you're still unsure what we're doing here, so we got this piece. Let me set this up here. And essentially, just like that, I'm gonna have to probably take these pins out and put them in the other way so they're not all in the way. But sorry, my kids are loud too. I'll tell them to, tell them to be quiet. No, I'm just playing. Uh, they're just up there playing before they gotta go to bed. But anyway, that's uh, that's essentially what we'll be looking at. I think that'll work out all right. So what we need to do is we need to take all of this in the in the garage, uh, basically mark these holes and then the holes up at the front. We'll run some bolts through them to the plate that's underneath. Oh, I knew that was about to happen. Uh, you know, put them on this plate in this carbon, um, drill them out, and then sandwich all this together. But before we actually get a sandwich together, we need to take this and uh, remove all the buttons and um, pull it back. So let's get it. I'm way more excited about this than I am this piece. I, I should have went with this from the beginning. But sometimes, you know, things don't work out the way you want them to. Um, and you just got to keep on keeping on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Life's a garden. Dig it.
Anyway, let's let's get this done. All right, so it's the next day. Well, technically it's the next night, and uh, went over to Tractor Supply, picked us up some five sixteens bolts, and this is what we're with right here. That's basically a finished product. Uh, the only other thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna get another sheet and kind of like bring it down. I mean, you kind of really won't be able to see that, but um, you know, you will. I will. So it's gonna be sitting in the car. You know, if, if this is facing straight, it's going to be kind of like pointed back towards me like that. So I just want to kind of get like another sheet to kind of like hide all the wiring. And then I'll just run the wiring, uh, you know, down around here and then down through the carpet. Uh, so we still got to cut this, obviously. Uh, we need the car back. But you cut this to wherever you want then drill your hole through it. And then you can put your, you know, clip in there. So it's easily removable. You just trying to say, hey, buddy. That's a Oreo. But anyway... That's a wrap. I think it turned out way better than what the other one was going to. But, you know, it's not the best, but it works for me. So that's a wrap. I appreciate everybody. Catch you in the next one. Um, we got to go do some things tomorrow, so I'll probably have that video out Sunday. Anyway, I'll see you then. Peace. Now that it's raining more than ever, told you I'd be here forever. Said I